Hey everybody, it's Tom with the SS Motion here today with another Call of Duty review. And today we're taking a look at something different. We're actually taking a look at a Call of Duty Legends set. So the Call of Duty Legends set are World War II themed sets. They're pretty cool. They've been out for a while. Uh, I've just never really been that interested in picking them up since obviously, as a lot of you know, the main bulk of my collection is the modern themed sets. But I decided to give this a go. And I'm pleasantly surprised. There's a lot of nice things, but equally a few not so nice things. So we're going to jump into that and explore this more in the review. So the set I've got to review for you guys is the Call of Duty Legends Attack Turret. It's set number 06819. It's for ages 10 and up. It contains 100 pieces. And it retails for £7.49 at Toys R Us here in the United Kingdom. Okay, so let's take a look at the figures first. The first figure we have is a US sergeant. Give the camera a minute to focus. It's a US sergeant. He has the nicely printed sergeant's emblem on his helmet, a brown torso, green trousers, and a gold belt. And he has a knife and a brown ammunition patch on his chest uh, vest. So that's the sergeant. Then the standard soldier. Is in an all green camo. With a brown bell piece, a gold vest, two brown ammo vests. A bearded head sculpt. And a rucksack. And there's no emblem on his helmet as he's just a standard soldier. So these figures are very cool and within the line if you give me a second to pop them out the figures hands the line does introduce some new accessories the first being the M1 Garand with an attached bayonet on the end there the second being an M1A1 Thompson And both of these are very cool weapons, um, they even have tabs, so if you want to, you can place them on the figure's rucksacks. I almost knocked the tripod over there, that would have been very awkward. Okay, so let's get straight into the main feature of the set now. What's interesting to note before we look at it is that the main feature of this set is actually German. Um, the cannon itself, or the attack turret, is a Flak 88 design, which was a German anti-aircraft turret used during World War II against the Allied forces. So I'm going to assume that this is a turret which the US forces have taken over and are using against the Germans. So before we take a look at the turret, a little thing to note is we do get a battery of ammunition included. Four rounds, and as you can see on the box, you can create some pretty cool scenes with that. But moving on to the turret itself, it's a decent size compared to a figure, it's about the same size as a figure, a little bit taller. It comes in on four legs, easily turnable, no articulation in the legs but I don't really think it needs it. It can swivel here, it can be aimed up and down, and it also swivels here. Now there's a lot of nice detail in this, some sharp bits, some detail here. The cannon itself is a nice length, even some vent details on the back and on the legs. But it just kind of feels like, I'm not sure, it kind of feels too small. Like the flat cannons were quite large, especially in World War II. You have variants of them where a soldier would actually be sat next to them with a chair attached to it. And I just kind of feel as if this wasn't the right thing to do at this scale. It's been made too small. Um, I'm not really sure. I think maybe a smaller howitzer design cannon could have been used. Or something else that would have been a bit more effective. Because this just doesn't really feel like the right size. The only other problem I have with this set is the M1 Grand. The soldiers can't really be displayed with it because of the angle the grip is at. And this does pose a problem. 
Although if you rest the rifle in their non-dominant hand, you can kind of get it to look as if they're firing it. And it doesn't look too bad. But I kind of wish Mega had gone with a lowered grip to make it a little bit more uh, functional. Because although it is meant to be accurate, yes, it is based around World War II. I think at the end of the day, you've got to think of the fact that this is a toy. It does need to be functional. Uh, the Thompson itself is very nice. No problems with that. It's just the Garand that I've got problems with. But overall, for £7.49, it's quite a nice set. I think it matches the price point quite well. You get a couple of pretty cool figures who I'm certainly considering mixing up with my modern ones to create some cool new modern soldiers. Um, and it just feels like quite a nice set. One thing I would like to point out quickly is if we remove the head and backpack and vest off the main soldier, you can see that could quite easily be used in a Vietnam custom, which I think is very cool. Um, so, overall, it's a nice set, uh, a little bit small, and it lacks some functionality where it could do with it. But for the price, I think it's good value. And if you're a fan of history or a fan of the original Call of Duty games, which this is based upon, I definitely recommend picking it up. For the price point, it's very good. Um, that's all I've got to say, guys. Expect a review on the Desert Troop Pack coming out soon. And until then, this has been Tom with the SS Motion, signing off.